just measured the size of the green and um, just recorded what each length of the green is and each side is approximately 38 and a half metres long. To this inaugural uh, opening of our new community amateur bowls club and to invite our chairman to uh, officially declare our new club open. But uh, before doing so, however, I would be remiss, it would be remiss of me, not to express our utmost and sincere gratitude to the RMBI uh, for the very generous uh, support which they have given to us, which has enabled us to make all this possible, which you see today. And it's, I think it's one of the best clubs in uh, and it's all down to the RMBI. I would also like to thank Andrew White for his support over the last three years. It's been a hard grind, hasn't it, Andrew? It's been fun, <laughs> Before calling on, on worshipful uh, brother Chris to open, officially open our club, I'm sure he would like, first of all, to say a few words. So, over to you, Chris. Ladies, gentlemen and brethren, it is indeed a great privilege for me to have been asked to formally open this new bowling club and it is a particular pleasure that it will maintain the link with our care home in the name of the Duke of Kent Bowls Club. I hope the link remains much more than just the name. Many of you are friends of the home and I hope you will continue to be so for as long as there is a home and a bowls club. You may not have seen me or other trustees looking over the fence, but I can assure you that we've been watching the progress of this project with great interest. I have no doubt that there are some who are sad at leaving Holbrook Lane and its close proximity to home. But times change. Bowling greens used to be an integral part of the lives of our residents, but their age now, on average, is around 87. In all my travels around our homes, I've yet to meet a, a bowling and in reality a bowling greens are, are now very difficult for the charity to justify. Some of the greens, as at Holbrook Lane, represent considerable property assets. <coughs> By moving here, you're allowing us to release that, release that asset for the benefit of those in our care. I can tell you that the old green and flats are actively on the market with the benefit of planning permission. The signs are very good that they will sell well, and on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the RMBI, I cannot thank you enough for allowing that to occur. I'm very grateful to all of you and your committee, but I must single out one particular name. This project would not have happened without Ted Camp's unstinting efforts. Ted recognised the charity's changing needs, convinced his committee, found this site, went through all the heartache of planning, went through all the hoops of setting up the club, as an independent sporting body, design the new facility and project manage it until it has become the marvellous sporting facility you see today. The charity simply does not have the capacity to have done this ourselves. It took someone of Ted's stature to shoulder the burden. I should also mention Edna, without whose unfailing support I'm sure even Ted would have struggled. Edna, I do hope you'll be able to see more of him now. So let me reiterate, I can assure you of the immense gratitude of the charity and I hope you will reap the benefit of many happy years bowling here. I think you've heard enough of me. It only remains for me to formally declare open the new Duke of Kent Court Bowls Club. Thank you. Yeah. Well, okay.